This is a video for users of Timing Solutions software and people who have some knowledge of astronomy. You don't need a whole lot. We'll take a look at some charts and uh, you make the calls. Not only that, I'm going to ask you to make the rules. We're going to look at something pretty interesting, but you're going to have to determine, one, is it worth using, and two, well, what are the rules for using it, if any? Let's take a look. I'm inside time, Timing Solution and I'm in ULE and what I've got here is the moon. Value itself, I'm in angle difference, value itself, moon, distance to Earth. And then minimum distance to Earth. That's called perigee. In astronomy talk, that's called perigee. If I change that to max, that would be apogee. I've already got a run. And some people who use this type of information think that when you have minimum declination, I'm sorry, minimum distance to Earth, perigee, or maximum distance from Earth, apogee, that those in and of themselves are interesting timing signals. Sometimes, yes, yeah, sometimes. Now, what, what I found is when you use the moon like this, it's actually not that good. You can, you can make up a whole lot of examples where, oh, look, it, it, time, it timed the top or it timed the bottom. But then when you look at the big picture, it's just okay. Now, of course, you can combine this with, oh, I have a full moon or a new moon, and I have apogee perigee or maximum minimum declination of the moon, and I have apogee perigee. You, you could do a number of combinations like that. Feel free and experiment. But that's not what I want to talk about. Let's uh, get back here. Let's change um, this one here. Let's change it to value itself, moon, moon, geo, and speed. So now I've got distance to Earth, and I've got speed. And what you'll probably notice right away by the way, th these uh, lines up here, they're really, really not relevant, so let's get rid of them. Let's go over here, main window. Let's go to uh, a neutral color. <laughs> a nice neutral color. And it's gone. Notice that when I'm at perigee, I'm also at maximum speed. And when I'm at apogee, I'm at minimum speed. All the time. Not only that, see like over here, it's getting smaller, and that's getting smaller, that's getting smaller, that's getting smaller, longer, longer. So these two are in perfect reciprocal relationship. In other words, instead of using speed, you can use distance to earth. They're just, it's the same thing. You're looking at the same chart, just inverted. That's important because this is not what I want to talk about. But I had to establish that distance to Earth and speed are related. So let's get back here. Instead of saying moon distance to Earth, let's do Mercury. And instead of moon speed, let's do Mercury position distance to sun. So let's see what we got here. Oh, I still got moon there. Mercury. Okay. So now I've got Mercury distance to Earth, Mercury distance to sun. Th this has the potential to be very interesting. We can basically start over here. Now, I'm just going to make some observations, then we'll talk about them. We'll just make some observations. N notice over here, this big rally starts right around the time the zero cross on both of them. And we're going, we're going, we're going. And over here, we got another zero cross. Right there. And I've got this momentum peak. And, and then over here, it gets more interesting, much more interesting. Because here I've got a zero cross, and I've got this one at uh, a minimum 
value. This is the all time high in gold right there. Now over here I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. And over here I got a zero cross. And this one's near maximum. And I've got this bottoming and a reversal happens and I keep going, 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 going. Two zero crosses in a row within a couple of days of each other. And you, you can see what's up here. Very, very, very obvious. Let's go, go, go. Both of them are at the bottom, minimum. Both are minimum, red and blue. It's obvious. Zero cross at about the same day. And uh, up to the observer, is it calling the top of this little swing or is it calling the beginning of a new swing? Because I don't expect astronomy to be accurate to the day. No way. <laughs> no way. You make up your own rules whenever you want. I make up my rules. So um, they're both around maximum here. See, this one's at maximum and not much happens. And this one gets to maximum and you get this one and a half to two week correction. And then you get a zero cross and then over here, this is interesting. You get this um, zero cross right here. This one's at minimum. We saw that pattern before back there. And we get this. And then over here we get a zero cross with this. And we just get, we just get this little swing up here, not much. So in other words, it's not going to be a big deal every time it happens. Now, here's another interesting. We get a zero cross right here. And this one's not really maximum or minimum, but you can see very clearly we got a... And over here, not much happens at this one. This is interesting. They're both, one's at the top and one's at the bottom, maximum, minimum, and I get a chop. It's a, look, look at this chop. This is an incredible chop. If you're trading futures contracts, from here to here is over $1,000. Let me just see what it is. Yep. So that's a lot of money. It's a big chop. But here, here's a interesting, isn't it? Both of them cross the zero line at the same time during a chop, and you get a nice concerted swing. That's interesting. Zero cross, and you get. Now you may think this is nothing. Actually, see, to 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 a trader like myself, this is a big deal because I've just had three weeks of congestion. I can draw an upsloping, going parabolic trend line here and a down sloping trend line here. I have a triangle here. I mean, I've got this thing here is a triangle. And the breakout of the triangle occurs right there. This one's just about minimum and I got my zero cross here. So to your eye, you go, well, that's not a swing pivot. Okay, so what? <laughs> so what is that a swing pivot? So what? The idea is, hey, can I make money from this? That's the idea. Down sloping trend line, up sloping trend line, triangle, triangle breakout right there. And the rally ends at the next zero cross with this at maximum. So we go, again, I say this so many times, and yet people have a hard time getting it. Um, a change in trend can be when you go from up to sideways, and that's what happened here. We're going up and zero cross, maximum. We go from up to sideways. Breakout happens without anything here. Breakout from the sideways happens without anything in this particular configuration notifying us. But both the right minimum and we get who knows what. Just schlock. Nothing much happens here. We get zero cross at about the same time here. Not much. Just a teensy little reaction. Teensy. So we're going, going, going. And we're thinking, oh, gee, maybe this thing's really not that worth it. And then all of a sudden, it starts picking up again. Starts picking up again. We start getting trends. And this is, uh, again, it doesn't look like much because of the scaling, but that is a little rally there. Not much. And then all of a sudden, it's back to what we want to see. Zero cross this max, and it falls. And zero cross, and we go from up to sideways. And one's at max, one's at min, and we don't get anything. And keep going, keep going, keep going. You know. And now you got bottom in here. 
actually, 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 in hindsight, this isn't that bad in hindsight. Because this is the um, highest closes are right at the zero cross, and then you start this. So, yeah, that's uh, it's actually not that bad this point. It, it doesn't look good if you're looking at just a few days before, a few days after. But if you look at the bigger picture, these are these are the highest closes right there, and then it starts falling. And this is really good. That's really good. This is this is yeah. You know, it's not great, but it's good. It's clearly again the peak, just like. But the idea is. As we're following along, we're seeing this one again. Zero cross with this one really low. And that's timing. The idea is there's clearly something here. Sometimes you get big swings, sometimes you get little stuff, but there's clearly something very interesting going on here. But the thing is, how would you use this? Is it possible to if you if you go through this slowly and note everything? What kind of rules could you make up for using this? Or is it simply not possible to make up very specific rules for using this? And this is something you can just add in a general way. That's worth thinking about because there's clearly something here. And it's repetitive. I mean, it, it, it's not like it's trying to hide. It, it also, it's not like it's difficult to spot. It's very easy to spot. But you can't just say, oh, every time I get a zero question. If you were to try to write down on paper, what are the rules for using this thing, you'd get confused. But I'm not saying it's impossible. So give it a try. If you come up with something interesting, you might want to share it with other people on the forum. Good luck. <laughs>